Elder God says, I disagree with that paragraph. Which paragraph, Elder God? Which part of it? There is a couple of things I disagree with here to a certain degree, but I really love the whole concept that the duality, right? If there's good and evil, then something has to be above the duality and evil feeds off good, right? So being good for goodness sake, there's a saying that says being good for goodness sake, right? But being bad for badness sake, that, I've never heard that term before. So I love the train of thought. Uh, sorry, I mucked that up a few times reading C.S. Lewis. Yeah, uh, reading C.S. Lewis is sort of an, I realized it was sort of an art form. You have to really pause at places where he says it. He, he speaks, he writes in a certain way. And going between reading three different types of books, uh, the, my rhythm wasn't really perfect for this, right? But a good reading, good reading, good reading. My favorite book from C.S. Lewis, aside from the trilogy, the sci-fi trilogy uh, he put out, are his essays, Fernseed and Elephants. And I really love the screw tape letters because there's an element of science fiction and fantasy in it. Okay. Which one is the third in that trin uh, trinity uh, it, uh i don't think that the triple that's the trinity um you know it says the father son the holy ghost uh, i think that's a different trinity uh joe chicho my biggest problem with religion in general is that fundamentally it values faith over evidence um does it value faith over evidence some people in my opinion majority of people who can say that they're religious right uh tend to think that way but the ones who i think are true practicing uh, their religion uh, i don't think uh, they they really slant that way as much right that being said we went through a three-year period right now where people took science something that was supposed to be evidence where there was no evidence and converted it to faith which is why people are calling this a cult a religion right where people just said forget evidence we have faith in our leaders and they took poisons right so i think the the whole line between faith and evidence um for me i'm a i'm a lover of data i'm, I'm a lover of evidence uh being able to present a certain type of data that backs up your it's not beliefs your argument right uh but then the data collection you have to be you know quality control there is extremely important the interpreter interpretation of the data there's so much at play there's so much at play and there's been times throughout history even now where something that we thought was evidence is not really evidence look at all the innocent people that have been put in jail because the state provided an evidence that this person committed a crime so it's a fine line i think icono you can call it a triad triad or whatever good bad and neutral sure black white gray okay yeah triad so which one is the third in that tri uh triad um well good question i don't know i don't know icono the first would be the top one I'm assuming the second would be the good and the third would be the bad because the so-called God created the good and the bad feed, feeds off the good, right? Elder God, uh, this is the quote that Elder God didn't like. If God is all-powerful, he cannot be all-good. And if 
he is all good, then he cannot be all powerful. Oh, interesting. Let's read that again. Elder God's, uh, this is a quote from uh, Mir Christianity from C.S. Lewis. Quote, if God is all powerful, he cannot be all good. And if he is all good, then he cannot be all powerful. So basically, to me, that's saying that God also has bad in him. Is that correct? Because there's one one philosophy, one belief that if I'm recollecting correctly, it, 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 it's like there wouldn't be any bad if bad didn't exist in nature, right? So bad is an inherent part of this universe. So bad has to be a part of, if you believe in God created it, has to be part of God as well. So I, I, that's the way I'm interpreting that line. Superior hands. It stems from tribalism. We're tribal species. It's hardwired us to fit in with the crowd. Maybe, maybe not. Like Armenians are considered to be the first Christian nation, right? And the reason uh, the king of Armenia at the time, uh, they were all, uh, what do you call it, pagans, right? Uh, at the time. And he wanted to keep the tribe together. So to a certain degree, it, it is talking about the tribalism, the religion. But it, when he uh, gave the dictate that all Armenians during that period, right, they had to abandon uh, idol worship and embrace Christianity. He was trying to keep that tribe together, but all around them were pagans, idol worshippers. And what effect that had was all the neighboring nations started attacking Armenians or the people that lived in that region that now call themselves Armenians. They started attacking them and trying to kill them because they decided to go against the larger tribe, right? Patre, 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 I don't think it's good, bad, and neutral. I think it's the law. And then either accordance with the law or breaking the law. But then someone had to create the law, right? Cheryl, bad is based on perspective. 100% agree with that. And, and I believe C.S. Lewis was stating that too. Bad is based on perspective. But why does someone do bad? For bad sake? Be good for goodness sake. Is there something called be bad for bad sake padre 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 could god create a rock so large that he himself could not lift it good question elder god god is nature god is bad good and all powerful some people would very much agree with you elder god right some people would very much agree with you so nature is the head and in nature there's good and bad and bad feeds off good right like you couldn't have death without life so death is the third of the trinity i guess you want to call it or i kind of want to call it right so nature birth you have life and you have to have life to have death you couldn't have death and then life unless people believe in the reincarnation and that sends it into another loop right joe can't the argument be made that God, God, good and bad are a human construct? Good and bad are a human construct? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Right? Like, our kitty cats, do they know between, well, I guess dogs can be trained, you know, if they do something bad. Uh, kitty cats is much harder. Dogs can be trained if they do something bad in the perspective of the human. They shouldn't do it. But does the dog know it's bad? Or is the dog not doing that bad thing? that's relative for the human are they not doing it because it's bad or because they're going to be punished if they do it right mm -hmm. so yeah i agree good and bad are uh, in huge part not a nature thing more of a human construct as you say joe curious trilemma good and bad yeah i caught it joe Icono, the word tribe is also etymology from the word three. It, oh, is it? Tripod. 
And gang, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies. Right. Elder God, quote, can God create a puzzle so difficult, a riddle so complex that even he cannot solve? What is, what if that's us? Aha, end quote. First time chat. Meow, meow, Leora. Good and bad are concepts shaped by the society community you live in. To a certain degree, I very much agree. Salute. Gang, let's call the stream. Nice books, nice conversations. Uh, heavy books. Damn, we read heavy today. We read heavy today very very heavy gang uh, i haven't set up my next set of live streams yet uh we'll do some next weekend okay free g <laughs> oh my god <laughs> we'll do some next weekend uh one at least next weekend i'll see if i can set it up where i can move the cannabis plants and uh maybe we'll look at the global map um but but i'll i'll look into it let's see how everything plays out this week next few days superior hands thanks i got the fauci one to be delivered that's one to lend people once i've read it yeah yeah and it's one if someone comes to your house and they say hey blah 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 i got injections you're crazy like pull this out read a few pages right read a few pages do we do we raid elder god i'm gonna do my quick outro we're on patreon subscribe subscribe star we have a gilded server we're live streaming on twitch and on rumble we did a little bit on sensor tube but fauci book came up we had to kill the sensor tube it wasn't going to work out this full live stream will be on bitchu rumble and odyssey okay and the audio will be on soundcloud um so there'll be a podcast available as a podcast on soundcloud uh, we do have a Twitter page. We do have a Minds page. We do have a Gap page. We do have a VK page. We are on Substack Notes and Getter. For those of you that are supporting this work on these platforms and more, gang, thank you very much for the support. And salute to the mods. Elder God, Cheryl, you're here. Salute, gang.